Welcome to London. Walk the Thames. Take a boat ride on the river. Be a part of royal heritage and culture. See the sights from double decker bus. Get cherished by beautiful parks and gardens. Learn art and history at the museum. Observe canal life in the little Venice. Join crowds at football match. Have a meal at the top of skyscraper. Do the street shopping. Enjoy classic pub drink and discover mysterious part of London on foot. Following a one-day itinerary, we will visit 10 of best London tourist attractions, starting with St. Paul's Cathedral, 30 St. Mary X, the Gherkin, Tower Bridge and Tower of London, the Shard, London Eye, Big Ben, the Palace of Westminster, Buckingham Palace, Hyde Park, Trafalgar Square, and finishing journey at Piccadilly Circus. We will also see nearby places, things to do, and the nearest tube station. Check out the description box for important links timings, tickets, and further details. St. Paul's Cathedral, with its vast dome, is an iconic feature of the London skyline and known across the world. Step inside and you can enjoy the cathedral's awe-inspiring interior and uncover fascinating stories about its history. The highest of five levels will give you splendid view over London. You can also visit Millennium Bridge, Tet Modern, and Shakespeare's Globe nearby. The St. Paul's is the nearest tube station. St. Mary X is a commercial skyscraper in London. This bullet shaped office tower of swelling light and dark glass, known locally as the Gherkin. Liverpool Street are nearest tube stations.
visit Leiden Hall building and St. Olive's Church nearby. Tower Bridge crosses the River Thames close to the Tower of London and has become a world famous symbol and identity of London. It is sometimes confused with London Bridge, which is about half a mile upstream. Bridge ticket includes admission to towers, west walkways, glass floor and engine rooms. Tower of London, founded by William the Conqueror in 1066, houses 20 billion pound worth jewels. Explore London's iconic castle and world heritage site with crown jewels, south battlements, bloody towers, torture at the tower exhibition and some floor of white tower. Tower Hill is the nearest tube station. The Shard, also referred to as the Shard of Glass, is a 95-story skyscraper. London's highest and best view is situated at the top of the Shard on floors 68, 69 and 72. It offers visitors unparalleled 360-degree breathtaking view up to 40 miles. London Bridge is the nearest tube station. You can also visit Bro Markets, Southwark Cathedral and HMS Belfast nearby.
Land and I, our Millennium Well is a huge observation well on the south bank of the River Thames in London. It is one of the best thing to do when you are in London. Enjoy amazing 360 degree views over London and see iconic landmarks from the London Eye. Waterloo is the nearest tube station. You can also visit St. John's Church, Sea Life Centre London Aquarium, Shrake's Adventure, London Day Turn, and Grafty Tunnel nearby. Big Ben is probably the world's most famous clock. The House of Parliament and Elizabeth Tower, commonly called Big Ben, are among London's most iconic landmarks and must-see London attractions. Technically, Big Ben is the name given to the massive bell inside the clock tower, which weighs more than 13 tons. The clock tower looks spectacular at night when the four clock face is illuminated. Westminster is the nearest tube station. You can also visit Churchill, War Rooms, Mahatma Gandhi Statue and Palace of Westminster nearby. The Palace of Westminster serves as the meeting place for both the House of Commons and House of Lords, the two Houses of Parliament of the United Kingdom. You just need a four-minute walk from Westminster Bridge to reach here. The Palace of Westminster can only be visited on Saturdays or during July and August. You can also visit Westminster Abbey and 10 Downing Street nearby. 
The Westminster Abbey was founded in 960 AD by Benedictine monks. Buckingham Palace is the Queen's residence in London. She has other residences too, including Windsor Castle. Buckingham Palace is Grand Royal Residence with 775 magnificent rooms. It is open to the public during the summer months only. It usually takes two hours to explore Buckingham Palace. The closest tube station are Victoria, Green Park and Hyde Park Corner. Also visit St. James's Park, Wellington Arc, and Westminster Cathedral nearby. Hyde Park is one of the greatest city parks in the world, covering 142 hectares, 350 acres with over 4,000 trees, a large lake, a meadow, and ornamental flower gardens. The distance between Buckingham Palace and Hyde Park Gate is 2 miles. Hyde Park is home to a number of fascinating buildings and monuments such as the Serpentine Bridge, the Joy of Life Fountain, the famous Argyle statue, and the Diana Memorial Fountain. This park is the largest of four royal parks that form a chain from the entrance of K 
Kensington Palace to Buckingham Palace. Trafalgar Square is a public square in central London, established in the early 19th century around the area formerly known as Charing Cross. Trafalgar Square itself is named after the Battle of Trafalgar. It is famous for being the home of the National Gallery and the National Portrait Gallery alongside the iconic Nansel's Column. Leicester Square, Charing Cross, Piccadilly are the nearest tube stations. Nelson's column rises above these iconic squares, LED lit fountains, artworks, and lion statues. Piccadilly Circus is a road junction and public space of London's West. It was built in 1819 to connect Regent Street with Piccadilly. The name Piccadilly originated from a 17th century frilled collar named a Piccadilly. Roger Baker, a tailor, who became rich making Piccadilly lived in the area. The modern electronic billboard may remind you the New York's Times Square, but Piccadilly Circus has buckets of charm with its old, beautiful and character-filled buildings that surround the area. The British Museum, the National Gallery, Somerset House, Natural History Museum, Science Museum, and Madame Tussauds are also must-see attractions, if time permits or you have additional time to spend in London. <music> 